Hello everyone, you are welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Ridwan Ibrahim. In this series of episodes, I will be making an elaborate estimation of the Gable Roof Carcass. Basically, what we intend to determine is to know the actual length and the actual number of each member of the Gable Roof Carcass. There are several types of roof. There is Gable Roof, there is Ip Roof, there is Butterfly, there are several types of roof. However, this seems like the simplest that we can build our foundation on, all right? So the foundation of calculating roof member can be built on this because this is basically uh, the, the simplest, all right? Although there are different type of gable roof, all right? This is the dropped gable roof. This is basically called the dropped gable roof, okay? It could be boxed, it could be unboxed, okay? So this is what uh, the configuration looks like. This is the type, this is exactly the one we will be we will be analyzing okay so we have to determine all all roof member here um another one is a transitional gable roof okay so if you look at this this is also a gable roof all right but there is transition here okay so what it simply means is that from here you see there is a transition from this short length up to this long length so this is a transitional gable roof it is still one building so when you want to determine the carcass here, you will see that the calculation will be a little bit different from this. However, it is still the same process, all right? So this is a transition gable roof, okay? This is also an example of a transition gable roof, okay? You see there is a transition up to this position and at this point there is a transition. Also at this point there is a transition, at this point there is a transition and at this point there is a transition, all right? So it is still a gable roof but a transition gable roof, all right? Um, there is another type, this is called a cross uh, gable roof, all right? A cross gable roof, all right? A cross gable roof simply means when you have two gable roof going in different direction, all right? If you see the ridge line of this, the ridge of this is in this direction. However, the ridge of this is in this direction and the two ridges are now crossing. Hence, the name cross gable roof, all right? So, this is a cross gable roof, all right? So, this is just the introductory class. So, in episode 2, we start by calculating the length and number of each member. We will start with the wall plates, okay? So, from the wall plates, we can go to the kink post, we can go to the tie beam, we can go to all other braces the vertical braces and the uh, diagonal braces then we will touch everywhere the rafter the pole line okay if you are not conversant with the name of each component of the roof you can check the link of the video that i have put in the description of this particular video so you can go through it it's a video made by me some years ago that describes each roof member and then it is comprehensive enough so that should be enough for you to know what we have, what we call the tie beam, what we call the wall plates, what we call the rafter, what we call the pole line, and every other roof member because you need to identify them if you want to calculate them. Okay. So this is um, more of the quantity surveyor field. All right. So um, we shall go through it properly in the next episode. So watch out for the next episode. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thanks for watching.